I'm the calculus professor and today we'll be talking about working with integrals. In number 45, we'd like to use symmetry to find the integral of, from negative 2 to 2 of x cubed minus 4x over x squared plus 1 dx. And uh, at this point, typically, we don't really know the antiderivative of that guy. Uh, that takes some heavier machinery than what we have in Calculus 1 to compute uh, this antiderivative. But we can still use symmetry to figure this out. Since this thing is being integrated from negative 2 to 2, we can ask, is this an even function or an odd function? And... <clears throat> This one's not quite as easy to figure out, but we can do it. Let's think about this for just a second. What if the bottom were not there at all, okay? And we just had x cubed minus 4x. Well, if we just had x cubed minus 4x, then we'd say, oh, wait a second, this is an odd function. So I don't really need to worry about it. Uh, this is an odd function, and the answer is 0, correct? Now, the bottom of this thing is an even function. Uh, but even more than that, what I can see is, okay, what is x going to be? If x is positive, I get a positive number. If x is negative, I get a positive number, and not just a positive number, but exactly the opposite. I I'm sorry, if let's say I have like 1 in here, I get 2. If I put negative 1 in here, I get 2. So it's an even function, and it's exactly the same as what I would get if I plugged in uh, positive or negative. They both give me the same thing. So what, how is that going to affect this odd function? Well, if I take a even, uh, something that's positive and I divide it by a positive, it's positive. So it doesn't change the sign. If I take something negative and I divide it by a positive, it doesn't change the sign. So this new function is still an odd function. In other words, if I take an odd function and I divide it by this even function, I end up with an odd function. And uh, that new odd function, we know if I integrate it from negative 2 to 2 of an odd function, dx, that the answer must be 0. And that's the answer is 0. Uh, not a lot of difficult computation here, but the difficulty is in convincing ourselves that this actually is an odd function. 